what is this organizational chart every company every organization must have an organizational chart for example marine bis tv also you are having various departments are there in this marine bis tv itself you have production department technical department software department various departments are there you have a chief executive and then you have different categories of people are there same way total maybe one person like so and roy is the chief complete overall in charge of every organization under him there are various departments are there under him there are so many things so every company every institution every organization will have so many organizational chart will be there so responsibility authority everybody is given responsibility authority according to the level of position what he is holding he has got its own responsibility and authority so all these things are the same way in the ship if you see we have three departments in the ship all ships will have all merchant ships i am talking about will have three departments and one is the navigation department other one is the engineering department and the third one is the catering and housekeeping department so all ships will have these three pakka it will be sure all this so in the navigation department or it is called generally the deck department the master is the overall in charge of the vessel he is the captain he is called and he is the master and he is the overall in charge of all these department like a ceo or chairman and md of an organization like he is the uh, overall in charge of all these departments then you have in the navigation department or it is called deck department you have under him under the master the next immediate person is chief officer second is next is second officer then you have third officer then you are having cadets then you are having ratings like for example ratings are bosun bosun is the cruise leader there will be a lot of rating will be there lower category of people work people seamen so able seamen and then quarter master quarter master is the person who is turning the steering wheel quarter master or helmsman h e l m s man helmsman so he is called so these people all belonging to the deck department or the navigation department and the chief officer is in charge of all these people like a section in charge manager under him there are so many categories of people are there so the deck department is handled normally by the chief officer so now you go to engineering department or generally called the engine department you have the chief engineer he is the senior most person there he is called the chief engineer then under him you have second engineer then you have having third engineer fourth engineer junior engineer electrical officer then engine rating like your deck rating able seaman etc you are having assistants in the engine room they are called ratings engine rating then you have the fitter fitter junior fitter according to the category of the ship you will be having one or two fitters so this is the engine department now actually if you see although we have put the master here on top chief engineer and master they are all in the same grade only only master is given additional power of handling the whole ship but otherwise normally say like for example salary wise hardly some thousand rupees or something will be there he is holding additional responsibility so chief engineer master normally they are equated like but overall responsibility is not given to the chief engineer but is given to the master of the vessel so he chief engineer is the senior most person he is in charge of all the equipments and machinery on board the ship very important responsibility is given to the chief engineer why so many crores of rupees worth machinery is there on board you have main engine you have auxiliary machine so many machineries in the engine room and on the deck also cargo crane so many uh, windlass and various other mooring equipment so many machineries equipments are there so a lot of response under him he is assisted by the second engineer third engineer all these category now this is the most important department what is the point of having these two unless this is there very important pehle pet ki puja baad mein set ki puja you know no? pehle pet ki puja baad mein set ki puja so here catering food is very important we are all working for our stomach only whatever category of work we are doing finally it amounts to this only 
So here, final, so catering and housekeeping department is very important on board the ship. So who is the chief of that? There is a chief cook for cooking. Second cook is there, chief steward. So this chief steward actually is in charge of the complete catering department, although it is written like this way. Under him comes the chief cook, second cook and the steward. Steward, you know, assistants, those who are serving, helping and everything. So maybe three stewards or four stewards will be there depending upon the total number of persons, officers on board the ship, stewards are there. These stewards are serving food or cleaning the rooms of only the officers. The ratings, they have to look after themselves only. Only officers are looked after by the steward. The British system they have followed and started and we are still following all these things. Only officers are given the stewards. Giving the coffee or making the bed properly, everything is done by the steward. But ratings all have to do themselves only cleaning and everything. Everybody has to maintain their rooms very clean and neat. So this is this uh, chief steward will arrange for the food for all these people, officers and other people also, ratings and everything. So you have, normally chief cook and second cook will be responsible for the food of these big ships. Like when we were all sailing, we had 55, 60 people on board, officers and crew, a shipping corporation of India. We had plenty people on board. Nowadays, everything is costly. So naturally, they have cut down the number of persons on board. Also, salary is also gone up. So naturally, they want people to be less so that more money is given. Automation is put actually on board. So number of people are less. Instead of 50-55 number of people, what we, have, we were having when we were sailing, now it is only 18 to 23 people are there on board. Total number of persons, including officers, and the assistants all put together, all the three department people put together, only 18 to 23 people are there. So we have to manage with everything. So normally you do not have more people. Otherwise, in our time, we had chief cook and second cook for the officers, exclusively for the officers. Separate mess used to be there, separate food used to be there. And for the crew, that is the assistants, we used to have another people for preparation of the food, etc. Two messes used to be there, but now all one mess only. Only timing will be different. Officers will go and have their food in different timing. They will not like to mix with the ratings or anything. So they will have different timing, half an hour difference, or something will be there. And they have their uh, timing and the crew will have their own timing. Normally one mess because the space restriction and everything. Number of people are also less. They want to carry more cargo. Like for example in warship or naval ships, number of people, spaces utilization is very much, very stringent, very small small rooms are there. Merchant ships, there are rules and regulations, so you have to have nice rooms and everything. So this is the normal shipboard organization. First off is in foreign ships, what happens, some of the foreign ships you are having, between the master and the chief officer, you have one more rank we are called first officer. Same way here, between the chief engineer and the second engineer, you have first engineer. That is normally seen in foreign ships. Indian ships, we do not have. We have only these categories are there. Now again, if you see, I told you, chief engineer and master, almost in the same rank only. Only master is given additional power of overall in charge of the vessel. Same way, second engineer is equivalent to chief officer here. Second officer, is equivalent to third engineer. Third officer is equivalent to fourth engineer. Junior engineer is not equivalent to cadet. Cadet is a junior person. He is not a certified officer. Whereas uh, cadet is a, not an officer actually. He is a junior person under a training. Trainee you can say. Whereas fourth engineer is a certified engineer. He is above. Although other ranks are equivalent. But deck cadet is not equal to fourth engineer. He is an independent engineer a certified engineer, senior person. There is junior engineer also, you can't call it as a deck cadet or equivalent to this because junior engineer is also holding a B.Tech degree and is an engineer under training. So trainee wise you can say junior engineer is a trainee engineer, deck cadet is a trainee cadet in the deck department. That way you can equate. An electrical officer is equivalent to the third engineer. 
level wise grade payment and everything electrical officer is equivalent to the third engineer many ships you don't have this category electrical officer so one of the other engineers you know has to do this uh, electrical officer's duty he will be paid extra money for that so this is organization and this you see that the above organization structure is only for cargo ships cargo ships are also bulk carriers or oil tankers all are cargo ships why it carries different type of cargoes passenger ship and cargo ships only two category so the organization structure what is shown or what you have studied now is only for the cargo ships passenger ships we have additional departments and a large crew number of crew on board a ship depends upon the size of the ship type of the ship extent of automation of machinery international regulations national regulations and other needs the type of people on board depends on all these parameters in the passenger ships you are having more crew why more number of passengers are there they have to be taken care of their passport their visa their safety their welfare measures so many things are there so there are so many other officers also in addition to the officers which you have seen there are other people are also so what we have seen the shipboard organization chart is applicable only to the cargo vessel cargo vessel could be general cargo vessel it could be bulk carrier it could be oil tanker it could be a gas carrier it could be a roll on vessel everything is cargo ships only other than passenger ship whatever is there all are cargo vessels now parts of a ship all of you would like to know important parts of a ship this chart shows only important parts there are so many parts like for example human being having more important parts like a face and then on in inside the or on the face only you are having so many other things and here the body then you have two hands two legs so basically if you want to say that head is there body is there two hands are there two legs are there and again you are having you can subdivide the part same way if you ask me to divide the parts of a ship i will say that you have a superstructure what is a superstructure superstructure is accommodation you have seen the accommodation this is the superstructure of a ship and then deck deck is the main this open area is called the deck open deck the whole deck open deck this is the deck area complete open deck tanker will be having deck and in the you are having if you are having a container ship lot of boxes are kept here tankers you are having a spear or you are having other way so the open deck is the this main deck continuous deck going from the aft or forward long deck is called the open deck so open deck and then you are having the engine room and where is the engine room normally in the ship engine room is always normally last portion of the ship here main engine everything is kept provided here because if you are keeping the engine room here somewhere in the middle the engine shaft has to come up to here propeller is connected to the engine shaft so normally the engine room is connected back side of the ship so main engine will be there all the whatever machinery is are there inside this engine room will be there and the propeller shaft is connected to the main engine that is a place so engine room is the place is here superstructure is this main deck is here and then you have cargo spaces cargo spaces are these areas after the engine room there is a bulkhead here a separating partition called bulkhead and then you are having the cargo spaces cargo holds are there in this cargo is carried whether it is oil or general cargo whatever is there carried in these holds so these are all cargo spaces so these cargo spaces are hold, called holds or tanks it can be for general things it is called hold if it is an oil tank it is called tanks containing oil that means tankers tanks are there inside the tanks you are carrying the cargo or it is called dry cargo it is called a hold cargo hold you are carrying the cargo both are same only only depending upon the type of cargo you say either it is a hold or it is a tank <coughs> now parts of a ship again ballast tanks are there why the ballast tanks are there <coughs> ballasting is an operation in a ship when there is no cargo or big ship very big ship like a bulk carrier or a tanker or a big ship very big ship if it is 
loading time or unloading time lot of variation of the draft stability will be disturbed very much fast bulk loading is going on bulk discharging is going on from the ship so there is a stability problem is there so that time you have to correct the stability by putting or adding or pumping sea water into the tanks which are all dedicated tanks for this purposes lot of tanks are provided but is called dedicated tanks ballast tanks into which sea water is pumped and taken inside suppose your example you are loading on the this side that is the starboard side of the starboard side of that is the right side you are loading so naturally what happen ship will go to this side if the loading increases so this side stability problem ship may capsize this side so you have to add water here there are tanks provided this side you fill up the water here then slowly slowly you correct the stability keep it this way suppose you are loading this side then the ship will go this side you have to add water here and keep the stability here same way long ship like this way you are adding the forward tanks ship will go like this way so you have to add water here to correct the stability so this is very important stability trim 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 means the which is forward and uh, back side this direction the list what is list means this side and that side rolling list of a vessel means ship is going to the port side or starboard side so the angle turn is called the list whereas forward and aft side when it is going this side or this thing this way it is called the trim so like this way ship is like this way that means she is having a aft trim ship is normally like this way will be going head is always up when man is walking always head should be up a soldier is walking not like this way it has to lift it up same way ship also head lifted up and then she goes why bottom always has to be inside the water propeller has to be inside the water not for otherwise then only the thrust will be there ship can go forward so when you are cutting across the waves so this position is always better so normally all the ships when she is moving or sailing in the vessel her head is lifted up and then goes like this way or maximum should be on even draft means forward and aft the water level below should be same that is called even draft vessel is stable vessel you can have either like this way but not like this way never like this way ship has to be either lifted up or even the even level then only ship goes forward then you have the wing tanks what is this wing tank suppose i take the vessel section now suppose i cut the vessel here suppose i cut the vessel here and it, then you i am asking you to see from here that is called engineering term section of the vessel so it will be something like this way i have cut this and i am asking you to look from there and here you will be having so this side you are having hollow type of thing and these are all wing tanks suppose this is the construction so this is called the wing tank and this is all bottom of the vessel so it is double bottom double bottom tank this is again a wing tank 